Today we're off to the Lowry in Salford, Manchester. No inclement weather will stop Juliet and Trudge. Ellis Lowry painted the scenes of Greater Manchester. He died in 1976. His artwork, painted over a 40-year period, left a lasting legacy depicting how people lived in industrial Manchester during his lifetime. At the Lowry Galleries and I've met a real live Manchester person. So Hello. have you lived in La Manchester all your life? So I've actually, I grew up in Lancashire which is just a bit further north but I've lived here for the last five years. Right yeah. and is, is Manchester in Lancashire? Uh, no, not anymore. It used to be, but Lancashire is its own county and in Greater Manchester is the county just underneath. And ah. Manchester is part of Greater Manchester. I see. So Manchester is not part of Lancashire anymore. Not anymore. But it, it used to be. And people get quite annoyed if you say that they are the same. Ah. Not, <laughs> not and did anymore. you go to school here? I went, no, I went to school in Lancashire in um, and then university in Bristol and then moved back up here. And so do Lancashire people have the same accent as you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Northern accents. Yeah, Northern Lancashire accent. accents. Yeah. It's but within Lancashire there's lots of different accents. Within Manchester there's different accents. It really varies. Ah. So you can tell where people come from their accent? Oh yeah. 100%. 100%. Terrific. <laughs> okay, thank you very no much. Worries at You're all. going back to Australia. All What's right. your name? My name's Izzy. Okay, thank you very much Izzy. No worries. Okay, bye. Wow, we met Izzy at the Lowry Gallery in Manchester. Well, I think it's Salford Keys that we're at. But anyway, bye, we'll see you soon, bye. And here we've got a few pictures of the inside of the Lowry Gallery. There's some pictures of Trudge. That's the structural steelwork of the gallery. Magnificent. A view from inside the gallery looking out and the outside of the gallery. Next, we went to a cruise on the canals next to the Lowry. ...of the seven spring bridges to be built over the canal, weighing 1,800 tonnes. It was hydraulically operated by a pump house, which has now been removed. A hunting horn was used to signal the swinging of the bridge and it would swing to allow ships to navigate to the Pomona docks further upstream. As one of the few places traffic was able to pass the canal, it gave a rise to the same getting the bridge, and people had to wait for the bridge to close. People Then we finished the day at our hotel with a drink over dinner. Well, what a fantastic day. See you on our next adventure. Bye.